conducted by session chair at the end of the author presentation. The session chair will select uh, from the given queries and ask them during the Q&A session. Now, I would like to request Professor Dr. Engineer Muhammad Julhashuddin sir to conduct this session. Welcome, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, moderator. Uh, I Assalamu alaikum. I welcome you all uh, to the technical session, the Smart Textile and Sustainable Industrialization uh, in uh, International Conference on Sustainable Development in Technology for Fourth Industrial Revolution 2021. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, we sir. are hearing you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So again, I welcoming all uh, to the technical sessions and uh, to the authors and uh, to the presenters. I would like to introduce some uh, rules of the presentations. Uh, first, I would like to read the uh, rules of uh, presenters or paper presenters. For each paper, we will have uh, 10 minutes only uh, for presentation and another uh, five minutes for discussion and author sense. So uh, I would like to request uh, all the authors to maintain the time frame, time slot very strictly, so that uh, we can uh, finish the, uh, the program in time. So uh, I think uh, uh, at this moment, uh, we can go for uh, presentation. And uh, first of all, I would like to invite uh, the authors of uh, the paper exploitation of natural uh, dye uh, from watermelon uh, into the coloration of uh, CVC fabric. So please welcome uh, Mr. Rezal Gurim, uh, Salman Ahmed, uh, Tanjit Hussain, uh, Shubho Jit Dotto and Rafi Islam. So you can present your paper to the audience. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Alaikum, sir. Assalamu alaikum. Good morning, everyone. I am Tamjid Hussain, Department of Textile Engineering from Port City International University. I present the paper on behalf of all authors. First of all, I am grateful to Almighty Allah for keeping me safe and sound in this pandemic situation. I would like to thank to our to the authority of ICSDTIR 2021 for arranging such an amazing program. I would like to pay a lot of respect to Professor Dr. Engineer MD Julhas Udin sir. I would like to pay a lot of respect and thanks to our honorable teachers, my supervisor helping me to uphold this project in top view. Now I would like to start the paper presentation in front of you. The paper title is Exploitation of Nasal Dye into the Coloration of CBC Fabric. Here, Nasal Dye is water manual. Objectives of this project is to coloration of CBC Fabric with water melon juice to dye CBC Fabric without using any chemicals to establish a sustainable natural dyeing process have a step. The goal of this project to assess the effect of natural dyes absorption from oat and melon into CVC fabrics. At the commencement, the dyes extracted from oat and melon juice and then dyed the fabrics with 150 ml solution. Application was done at different temperature and time Completing the dyeing process, a soaking action was conducted at 90 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. After that, fastness CMC oil evaluated. The results show that the samples dyed at high temperature have good fastness properties, but in case of oil traveling, not so good. But in case of lower temperature, the fastness properties is quite better. The test conducted for this project are maintained according to the ISO standard. 
now i would like to tell you about our materials first one is cvc single jersey fabric which gsm is 160 the fixture shown in the slide is pre treated fabric which was going through the scouring and bleaching process the second our material is water and melon juice here is the water and melon juice fixtures in the slide the machine used in this dyeing process are sample dyeing machine blend and machine balance machine only one chemical here is used in the after treated process which is soaping chemical here in the slide we can see this dye preparation firstly we select a mesued water and melon then we extract the internal portion of the water and melon then in the blend and machine we mix the internal portion of the water and melon after repeated filtration we extract the water and melon which is used as dye in the dyeing process after that storage it at standard condition after preparing dyes we are going through the dyeing process we basically two types of samples are dyed in this dyeing process first one is only dyeing and after washing but second type is was going through also after treatment process which is soaping treatment process here in the table we can see that seven type of samples which are going through the dyeing process first one for all samples liquor quantity is same which is 150 ml but the seven categories samples so are going through the variable temperature and time the first one is at 80 degrees celsius for 60 minute and second one is at 100 degrees celsius for 60 minute third one is 120 degrees celsius for 20 minute fourth 120 degrees celsius for 30 minute fifth 120 degrees celsius for 40 minutes sixth at 120 degrees celsius for 60 minute and last one is at 130 degrees celsius for 60 minute after completing the dyeing process the eight type samples are going through the washing and dry process only but b type sample was going through the soaping treatment process where previously said soaping chemical is used the soaping treatment process was going for 90 degrees celsius for 20 minute after completing the treatment process the samples were washed and dried here is the process curve of dyeing process and the in this slide we can see their process curve of soaping process after completing this we can see the resultant samples which are going through the dyeing and soaping process in the slide we can see the resultant samples which we are processed after that finally we are going to the fastness poverty test and cmc test firstly in the slide we can see that color fastness to rubbing for b type sample we can see that in case of drying in case of color fastness to rubbing dry rubbing the fastness poverty is quite good but in case of high temperature in wet rubbing is not so good but in the lower temperature temperature is quite good in this slide we can see the color fastness to wash we can see that for all types of sample the fastness properties against the washing is quite good for all the samples then we can see the cmc test here we categorize three category one is effect of soaping another one is effect of time and last one is effect of temperature we can see in the category of effect soaping we selected the a type sample as a reference and b type sample as a trail where we can see that in the table the shade of the samples are less saturated and lighter against the standard samples effect of time in the table 
here we can see that we select the standard A3 sample, which is dyed at 120 degrees Celsius and for 20 minutes. Here we constant the temperature, but uh, time is variable. We can see that in the table, the shade of the samples are less saturated and darker when the temperature fixed, but time is increasing. This category is effect of temperature where we fixed the time, but we use the variable temperature against the standard here. Standard temperature was 80 degrees Celsius for 60 minutes. And we can see that in the uh, CMC below, the shades of the samples are more saturated and darker. That means when increasing the temperature, the shades of the samples are getting more saturated and darker. Some dyed products with synthetic and natural dyes. Here we find out a comparison between the synthetic and natural dyes which are which we are used. In this pandemic situation, situation mostly we are used mask in all time. So the masks which are dyed with synthetic dyes may create many problems uh, in the inhalation problems, but the masks which are dyed with natural dyes like watermelon don't create any inhalation problem all and health issue. Here the sample uh, which is dyed with watermelon juice is developed by us As this dyeing process is not hazardous and is more effective to health, as we know, the undergarments was very close to our body, and the undergarment which are dyed with synthetic dyes may harm our body. But uh, the, the undergarment which are dyed with natural dyes, like a watermelon juice. Is, uh, has not created any uh, the health issue to our body. The undergarment product which is a diet with watermelon juice is developed by us. You have one minute only. Okay, sir. Conclusion part, this is the dying eco-friendly sustainable coloration process and cost-effective process as we don't use any chemicals, any salts, any auxiliaries. So that is the cost-effective process. It can be applied on randomly used material where fastness is not issue like mask, socks, lining, etc. As it is not hazardous and good for health can be applied on masks and undergarments oysters from watermelon, which is in external part of the watermelon, which have antioxidant and antimicrobial properties, which is used for various purposes like cakes and other purposes. So that's our presentation, sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Tamjit Hussain, uh, for your nice presentation. Now we can uh, go for discussion and uh, question and answer session. So I would like to invite uh, uh, questions uh, from the audience. Uh, questions from the audience, please. So the first question from Mohammad Taheb, which chromatic group are used here? Dear author. B beta carotene. Okay. Is there anyone more who can have a question? Any question? Then uh, I want to ask uh, one question. Uh, uh, what was the concentration of the uh, dilicar? You did not mention in the presentation. Uh, what was the concentration, dye bath concentration? 
sir actually we used 150 ml solution uh, water okay. melon uh, air is, water did you did you measure the concentration because in case of dyeing we must have to mention the concentration of the dilute cap sir uh, how uh, how much dye actually uh, used in the dye liquor sir actually here we don't use any water uh, okay but uh, certainly there is a concentration of uh, dye in the solution you did not measure the concentration probably okay yes sir yes sir and, and another question uh, uh, what was the Uh, uh method of attaching uh, uh, mechanism uh, in the fiber dye fiber attaching mechanism did you investigate uh, uh, the mechanism of attaching dye into the fiber what was the mechanism because see this is the blended fiber uh, it uh, it is a uh, cotton and polyester blended fabric so what was the actual mechanism uh, of dyeing yeah. sir as um, we uh, conduct the dyeing process at high temperature here is the issue uh, of polyester fabric uh, that is uh, like exhaust method okay exhaust method uh, but uh, there should be a mechanism for example in case of dyeing polyester there is a mechanism uh, we, we can use uh, carrier or uh, we can use high temperature in case of high temperature uh, uh, the polyester fiber Uh, open uh, their uh, uh, physical structures and uh, the dye molecule enter into the uh, uh, fiber but in case of cotton fiber uh, we can use low temperature for example we can use 60 degree 70 80 90 100 degree temperature so we don't need opening there is a attraction between the dye and fiber but uh, i want to know what, what was the uh, actual uh, mechanism of attaching uh, water melon dyes into the fiber did you study it uh, about the mechanism sir here uh, when increasing the uh, temperature like polyester dyeing process uh, our uh, dyeing process is kind of the polyester dyeing process uh, but here uh, cotton uh, part is uh, we actually see that how uh, cotton fabric uh, fixed of the color but uh, when we increase the temperature we can see that uh, polyester fabric can uh, pick up the dyes from the uh, diver so uh, maybe in trap mechanism uh, uh, the dyes are uh, uh, very similar to dispersed dye because in case of uh, polyester dyeing uh, we use dispersed dye this fiber dyes have no affinity for the fibers but uh, when uh, uh, fiber is in the open form then it can penetrate into the fiber easily may maybe this uh, this type of mechanism uh, because water melon dyes may not have any attraction for the polyester so it will entrap uh, in uh, high temperature okay okay thank you is there any uh, question from the audience okay dear author we have two more questions one from najib okay. hasan choudhury the question is how can this research be extended any suggestion for future researchers sir uh, in some papers we can see that uh, water and melon juice have anti microbial properties so we can uh, use this infuser uh, implement in the um, fabric for anti microbial effect and also Uh, as it has no uh, health issue then we can use it uh, uh, under garments or mask in future okay thank you okay. very much the last one uh, okay sir please continue okay thank you i, I want to supplement the answer of this question uh, the future work of this paper may be uh, uh, um, uh, You study the mechanism of dyeing uh, also uh, you can uh, find out the chemical structure of the uh, dye of the watermelon chemical structure this, this will be nice work uh, you will uh, you, when you will find out the chemical structure 
then it will be very easy to uh, establish the uh, build up mechanism of the uh, dyes into the fibers. So there is a possibility of future work. So I think uh, our time is over. Uh, now we can go for second paper. So thank you. Very Sir, uh, one minute, sir. Now, I would like to request our session chair, Professor Dr. Engineer Mohammad Jul Hashuddin, sir, to hand over the virtual certificate to our author. Paper ID is 35. Okay. Uh, I am glad to hand over the certificate uh, to the authors. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you very much, uh, uh, authors and uh, audience. Uh, our time is over. Uh, we can go for the second uh, paper presentation. Now, uh, I would like to invite uh, uh, authors of the paper, cotton and silk drying uh, with uh, natural dye extracted from uh, dragon fruit. Uh, Mr. Tuhit Jaman Tanim, Asif Sakib, and Salman Ahmed. Please. You can present your paper. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Welcome to International Conference, International Conference on Sustainable Development in Technology for Fourth International Revolution. First of all, I would like to thank our honorable session chair, our professor, Dr. Engineer Mohammad Julhas Uddin, and, and moderator, and other lecturer and teacher and student who are present here. Okay, my paper name is. Uh, cotton and silk dyeing with natural dye extracted from dragon fruit. Uh, my name is Toyu Jawan Tamim. I am the corresponding author in this paper, and my other two authors are Mr. Asif Sakif and Mr. Salman Ahmed. Okay, let's go to the paper. Uh, I designed the content is abstract introduction, methods and materials, machine use, recipe preparation, result and conclusion. Okay, my abstract is that our aim of this project to upset the natural dye absorption from dragon fruit into cotton and silk fabric. Uh, we know that synth dye, synthetic dyes possess a great concern and threat to the environment when ditchers. Thus, to overcome the problem, the natural colorant is introduced as a substitute uh, for synthetic coloring. The main coloring agent in dragon fruit is beta cyanin. The dyes are extracted from dragon fruit juice, then dyed the uh, cotton and silk fabric with a ratio of 1 is to 20. The process was done different temperature and times. After that, color fastness to washing, crocking, rubbing was uh, analyzed. The result showed that the coloring is highly temperature sensitive. The temperature around 60 to 70 degrees Celsius will be better for silk fabric. Uh, the keywords are beta cyanin natural dye, fastness properties, and hyaluronic polyurus. Okay. Uh, uh, introduction, the dragon fruit uh, we use, which uh, scientific name is Hylocyas polyurus. Uh, it is color is red velvet. Uh, we measure the its pH, which pH is 5.25, and its color containing chemical is uh, beta cyanin, uh, red violet, and yellow beta -exanis. And the material we use is cotton fabric, which is single jersey knit fabric. Uh, its uh, GSM is uh, 120, and it is pretreatment. Uh, we fab collect the fabric from uh, Clifton Textile and Apparels Limited. And uh, the silk fabric we use, it is a raw silk with GSM is 100. Uh, and it is also ready for dyed fabric. Okay, uh, our goals of this project to extract the cotton from dragon fruit, extracting the color applied to cotton and silk fabric, examining the fastness properties between two fabric. Okay, the, the dice preparation, uh, we first of all, the dragon fruit uh, juice extraction. Here we, you see the picture who is, we extract the juice. Uh, then we sample preparation, uh, cotton and silk, recipe calculation for five gram fabric, one is to 20 liquor ratio and dying in different temperature and time. Uh, here is the machine we used, uh, PS test meter machine, uh, weight balance machine, sample dyeing machine, dryer machine, crock meter, wash fastness tester, uh, automatic AAT, CCS, washing shrinkage tester. Okay, uh, first of all, how we extract the dragon fruit juice for dice preparation. Uh, some dragon fruit, uh, first of all, we select the dragon fruit, which are collected from a new market, Chittagong, after washing, and cutting the initial red portion was collected and seeds were separated. Then initial portion was taken into the blender machine and collect the red juice using filter. 
uh, uh, after collecting juice, a repeated filtration was carried out. Finally, uh, for the proper uh, dye preparation, the filtered juice was stored at a cold temperature, uh, one degree Celsius, so that it could not evaporate. Uh, dyeing method, uh, firstly, four bleach single jar C, cotton fabric and four silk fabric sample oil cut and weighted five gram each. Sample oil taken into dyeing jar and filled with prepared solution ratio of one is to 20. Then taken into dyeing machine and run for several time, uh, 30 to 60 minutes and temperature 60 degrees Celsius, 70 degrees Celsius, 80 degrees, which is shown uh, in the next slide after completing of dyeing, all samples were washed at normal water and drained. Here is the recipe version of our cotton fabric. Here we take four sample for cotton fabric, uh, which uh, every fabric weight is five gram each and each meter liquor ratio is one is to 20. But for sample number one, we take 80 degrees Celsius, temper, time is one hour. For sample number two, we take 60 degrees Celsius, time is 30 minutes. For sample number three, we take temperature 70 degrees Celsius, time is 30 minutes. For sample number four, we take temperature 80 degrees Celsius, time is 30 minutes. Uh, uh, and recipe version for silk fabric, here we also take four sample. Each fabric weight is five gram, or uh, in each fabric liquor ratio is one is to 20. Uh, here for sample number five, we take temperature 80 degrees Celsius uh, and time is one hour. Uh, for sample number six, we take temperature 60 degrees Celsius and time is 30 minutes. For sample number seven, we take temperature 70 degrees Celsius, time is 30 minutes. For temperature uh, sample number eight, temperature 80 degrees Celsius, time is 30 minutes. Uh, here is the process curve for dyeing process. Uh, uh, here is sample two, sample one and five, which is 80 degrees Celsius, it is dyeing at 80 uh, dying for 60 minutes and sample two and six, which is dying 30 minutes, but it is died at the temperature at 80 degrees Celsius and sample three and seven, uh, it is dying for 30 minutes, 70 degrees Celsius and sample four eight, which is dying 60 minutes, 60, uh, sorry, 30 minutes, 60 degrees Celsius. Okay, here is the uh, uh, process, uh, here is the after drying effect for cotton fabric, sample one, sample two, Sample one temperature is 80 degree for 60 minutes. Sample two temperature is 60, uh, 60 degree, but 30 minutes. Sample three is 70 degree, a 30 minute, and sample four is 80 degree, but one hour. And silk fabric, here is the uh, sample number five, six, seven, and eight. Uh, sample number five temperature is 30 minutes, 80 degree Celsius, six is 70 degree Celsius for 30 minutes, and sample number uh, seven is uh, 60 degree Celsius. 30 minutes and sample number is 80 degrees Celsius for one hour. And here is the test result uh, for color fastness to water. It is done in ISO 105 E1. Uh, the, here you show, if you see that one to four or every shows very poor color fastness to water, but sample number three shows two to three, which is poor. Uh, but uh, sample number five, six, and eight shows average color fastness to water. And the best uh, color fastness shows sample number six, which is silk fabric. Uh, it shows five to uh, four to five, which is good. And, and uh, color fastness to crocking, uh, it is done uh, at the method of ISO 105 X12. Uh, here, uh, every, uh, here it is shows a dry for four to five and weight three to four, which is uh, dry fabric, it's indicate good and weight fabric average. And if you see the color fastness to washing, uh, it is done ISO 105 CO6 A2S method. Uh, here, if you see the color fastness to washing one, sample one to four, which is cotton, uh, it shows very poor washing fastness, but sample five to eight, it shows three to four, which is average. So we can say that color fastness uh, to washing uh, for silk fabric is good. And uh, if we discuss the result here, sample uh, number seven, which is silk, shows good washness properties. Uh, it is temperature 30 minutes, uh, 60, uh, 70 degrees Celsius. Uh, for, uh, cotton fabric shows poor fastness properties for all of its properties. Uh, color uh, also, we see that color loss is chemical properties when temperature reaches 80 degrees Celsius. So we can say that the uh, color compound is very temperature sensitive. <coughs> Okay, that, and finally conclusion, all the test results were done after completing the dyeing process. The result indicates in near 70 degrees Celsius, uh, the dragon foot imparts color into silk fabric that is good, but in case of cotton, it does not accept any color from dragon foot.
the test shows that the dragon fruit color is a temperature sensitive dye the research show that it is possible to dye with natural element that is very good for environment and also reduce the cost of etp or wtp in many industries this is an inertial transit for of coloring with dragon fruit that is a natural element which is easily accessible in anywhere this is a new milestone for natural dyeing thank you everybody if you have any question please okay thank you mr tohit jaman for your nice presentation now i would like to invite questions from the audience please okay the very first question from sadman what is the object and future prospect of your work uh, our first object that uh, we see the many research paper and we show we see that uh, no one have uh, ever applied dragon fruit color in fabric so firstly we see that if dragon fruit uh, the fabric accept the dragon fruit color and secondly we, we also show some research paper that uh, dragon fruit has antifungal properties so we can uh, say that uh, we can use it at medical bed sheet or medical purposes or also masks and other or other or under under garments etc okay uh, the second question is dragon fruit is a costly fruit can you use any other alternatives can it be industrially applied uh it is also initial process uh, we just want to see if the color is accepted for future research uh, if we research more and more we can hope that someday we will will be reduce the cost of dragon fruit we also use the peels uh, dragon fruit peels is also we can say that free if we collect properly okay the next question is from burhan uh, tanjin dragon fruit juice ph was 5 something about something but what about dibath ph also we only we do not use any uh, water so dragon uh, we also say that the bath ph is 5.25 uh, which is acidic medium okay the last question a kind of similar uh, it was it is uh, we want to know in the project ph range of color okay ph, ph range. range okay ph range is 5.25 uh, we measured that uh, in our university on meter we also show uh, some research paper it is also showed uh, around 5.15 to 5.30 uh, that is why you see that cotton fabric do, does not accept uh, the color because uh, cotton fabric we all always done the are dying in cotton fabric in alkaline medium never acidic medium so uh, that is why cotton does not accept the color and silk accept the color okay uh, sir do you have any questions regarding this yes uh, 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 i have uh, uh, two or three questions uh, question number 1 did you measure the concentration of the dye bath sir the concentration dye bath concentration this is very important in case of dyeing uh, you from the concentration of the dye bath sir 1 is to 20 sir uh, 1 is to 20 was the liquor ratio oh sorry sir what was the uh, actual dye bath concentration sir we do not measure sir we do not measure that uh, it is sir we cannot say that properly sir because it is very important uh, for uh, for a suitable dyeing process you have to use the right uh, dye bath concentration okay sir uh, okay uh, did you measure the uh, uh, ionic nature of the dye is it an ionic dye or cationic dye or any other uh, non ionic did you uh, is an ionic dye an ionic dye uh, we saw that in research papers uh, so you you already mentioned uh, uh, it is not uh, so good for cotton because yes. ph 5.25 yes. uh, what to select uh, cotton uh, for dyeing uh, uh, natural uh, dragon uh, fruit because uh, uh, 5.5 is not uh, suitable for dyeing cellulosic material yes sir sir we just see if cotton accept 
the color or color show what is the color or absorbency in cotton we also want to just we want to comparison with silk and cotton that is why we use money cotton we know that silk will accept the color but cotton not but we show that we want to see the difference between these two fabrics so, so far from your presentation i can guess uh, uh, dragon uh, dye of dragon uh, fruits maybe suitable for fruit fibers so it will be interesting if you can uh, select a wool silk wool uh, uh, similar types of uh, uh, protein fibers. Okay. Uh, that will be that will be interesting uh, for the research. Okay, sir. Protein fibers. You, you can uh, use uh, several protein fibers. Okay. It will be very very interesting. Okay. And uh, also you need to study the build up. And uh, uh, do you know build up? Uh, build up is the uh, exhaustion uh, fixation of dyes. Uh, versus uh, concentration okay. because uh, you can use 1%, 2%, 3% of uh, dye stuffs in the dye liquor and then you have to measure the strength of the dyes. That is case below the uh, fabric. Case. You understand? So it is uh, very interesting uh, from Dragon Fruits. So thank you very much. Is there any question from the audience? We have time. We have uh, two minutes. Okay, here is uh, another question from uh, Saifuddin Javed. What is the exact color we got from the fruit in fabric? Uh, we can say that it is a pinkish, uh, red velvet or pinkish color. Uh, if you see the fabric, it is uh, light pink. Okay, the very last question for you. How many dyes collected from one kilogram of dragon fruit and how much can it cost to collect these dyes? Very good uh, question. Yes. Uh, first of all, we can say that it is very costly dyeing process. Uh, there is no question about the dragon fruit is costly. So dye, dyeing cost will be also costly. Uh, uh, we collect the dragon fruit per kg is uh, 500 take. Uh, so we we did not we, we did not ex, my, measure the actual cost, but you we can say that it is costly. Okay. Now I would like to request our session chair, Professor Dr. Engineer Mohammad Julhashuddin sir, to hand over the virtual certificate to our author. Paper ID is sixty six. Okay, I am uh, glad to hand over the certificate, uh, International Conference on Sustainable Development in Technology for Fourth Industrial Revolution 2021 uh, to the authors. Uh, to it, uh, to it, uh, Rahman, Tamim, Asif Iqbal, and Salman Ahmed. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, thank you very much uh, for your uh, presentation. Uh, now I would like to invite uh, third paper uh, presenters, uh, a comp comprehensive uh, analysis uh, on uh, multi fibrous uh, prospects of uh, medical textiles at Google market in uh, the context of COVID 19. Uh, the authors are Tosif uh, Wakar, Mohammad Nafis Hassan. Choudhury and uh, Abbas Salam and uh, Safwana Hussain. Please, you can present your paper. Assalamu alaikum. Suppose we are living in 2071 and thinking that how helpless we were during the period of COVID-19 pandemic because of the lacking of awareness of using personal protective equipments. Yes, here we are. In 2021, we are actually facing this problem, which is just another invention of medical textile. Hello, everyone. 
our paper is regarding this and is named as a comprehensive analysis on multifarious prospects of medical textiles at global market in context of COVID-19. I am Tosif Walker from Department of Textile Engineering of Port City International University. It's an honor to be here with you. I would like to thank all of my co-authors firstly, then today's session chair, moderators of this technical session, and the committee of ICS GTIR 2021 for arranging such an amazing conference. In this current world, it is undeniable that medical textile is playing a vital role for controlling the highly contagious virus. In this new era, people are having a look to the protective textile materials as well as they are taking the new inventions of medical textiles very seriously. The new areas of application for medical textiles have been identified with the development of new fibers and manufacturing technologies for yarn. Development of medical textiles can be considered as one such development which is really converting the painful days of patients into the comfortable days. Now let's see the advances in medical textile application. Firstly, we got bandages. Various kinds of bandages are innovated and designed to perform specific functions. Some of them are high supported bandages, orthopedic bandages, and gauge dressing bandages. Then an artificial kidney provides the benefit of contagious continuous blood filtration. It is made of hollow cure sized cellulose fibers or hollow polyester fiber. Then we got artificial livers. They are made from hollow viscous fibers which filters blood and works as a toxin removal plant. Then an artificial mechanical lung be consisted of hollow polypropylene fiber and hollow silicon membrane. In the next slide, we got healthcare and hygiene products. The products are being used for maintaining the physical hygiene shall be permeable, comfortable, and non-allergic to the body. Here are some hygiene products such as surgical gowns, caps, masks, surgical drapes, some protective clothings, diaper sheets, wipes, surgical hosiery, etc. If we look at the super absorbent fibers, it is obvious that they are so absorbent to absorb 50 times of genuine mass, while conventional wood pulp and cotton linter lies by the capacity of six times only. Now let's see what recent developments took place in medical textile. Firstly, coronary stents. Their tiny tubes can generally have a chemical coating such as a drug eluting stents, those who help artery to escort blood to the heart. Then we got artificial knees. Human knees frequently wear down faster as we all know that, and they are more disabling than other joints. As per report, over 90% of total knee replacements lead to a reduction or elimination of pain and an increase in mobility. Then we got artificial heart bulbs. Artificial heart bulbs consist of ultra high molecular weight polyethylene disc. And also they contain low density polyethylene plastics with knitted swing ring and a metallic housing which completes the full structure. Swing ring is simulated and fabricated by authentic polyester source. Then we got artificial vascular grafts. The most of the artificial vascular grafts are made of polyethylene terephthalate, which we call PET and polyetrafluoroethylene. Then artificial tendon or mesh. Artificial tendon is, is participating in hernia treatment and also into the replacement of abdominal wall where mechanical strength and fixation plays crucial role. Now, let's see the personal protective equipment exports, which opened a new avenue for Bangladesh. A new prospect of exporting personal protective equipments on this pandemic situation has brought a new hope to our apparel manufacturers. According to the uh, Export Promotion Bureau, Bangladesh fetched $11.58 million in 11 months by exporting the personal protective equipments. And as far report, Beximco Group made the largest shipment of 6.5 million surgical gowns to the US brand Hanes. Now, 
let's see some data regarding our research. The first slide is showing the companies is sharing the global medical textile industry during this pandemic. Here you can see that KOB, which is an Indian company, is in the lead role by having the chief share percentage of 40. And then we got tech techs at the bottom with 10%. In the next slide, we got global medical textile market share percentage by application. Here we got four categories and they are implantable goods, non-implantable goods, healthcare and hygiene products and others. Here implantable goods is anticipated to be the largest application segment on accounting for 33.20%. Then this stake area chart is showing the regional fabric market penetration where North America is anticipated to be in the leading position by the having the chief share percentage of 33.82% and Asia Pacific is in the third position on accounting for 27.08% and they're categorized as feminine care, baby care, medical fabrics, industrial fabrics and apparel. Then let's look upon our neighboring country, India's market size for medical implants and devices. They're implanting herd bulbs on accounting for 16.22 million US dollars, which is way more than any other countries. And they are onto artificial tendons, artificial joints, artificial kidney, and at the bottom, they got vascular grafts for 0 0.8 million US dollars. Finally, we got some data about medical textiles are being used in some renowned hospitals in Bangladesh and there are Dhaka Medical College and Hospital, Chattogram Medical College and Hospital, and Kumilla Medical College and Hospital. On the basis of the patients admitted in these hospitals, the variations are occurred, we can see. And in the final slide, let's try to explore the future prospect of medical textile in Bangladesh. The coronavirus impact has already revealed the weakness and vacuum of medical safety kits all over the world. Here, the Bangladeshi manufacturers can think over it and take this as an opportunity for long run because the private sector comprises 70% of the market value, which is more than our comparable developing countries as well as the developed countries. So factories can immediately take the opportunity to grab the highest position in exporting medical textiles. So that was it. That was all from my side. Thank you everyone for listening cordially. And I would like to thank again to my co-authors, today's session chair, moderators of this technical session and the organizing committee of ICSDTIR 2021. Thank you everyone. Okay, thank you, uh, Seth Bakar for your uh, nice presentation. Now, uh, I would uh, like to invite uh, questions uh, from the audience. Okay, the very first question for you, which type of fabric is used for medical textiles? Uh, now, non-oven products are being used for medical textiles. I think in future, we can try to explore some oven fabrics and knitted fabrics too. Okay. Is there any question from audience? Yeah. Okay, sir. Please. Okay, I have uh, some questions. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, first of all, uh, this is a very uh, a nice uh, topic uh, because uh, we have been facing uh, problems uh, uh, against bias. Uh, so uh, the paper is very, uh, very, very important uh, for the medical uh, applications. So uh, what was uh, method of uh, research. Uh, uh, did you follow any method? Uh, uh, any method? So, of we did some survey because we had to analyze the prospects of medical textile in Bangladesh. So we had to okay. analyze the scope. You, have, you, have, present, you have presented uh, some uh, results. Uh, yes, uh, from where did you collect this uh, result and uh, how it was possible? Sir, we got the yeah, we got the data from various websites, but finally we uh, I I have shown some data of our 
renowned medical colleges. I got the data from uh, Dhaka Medical College from the Google, and then we took it as a base and did the survey into the Chirang Medical College and Kumila Medical College. We uh, supplied the initial things to them, and they did it to us. Uh, because uh, uh, during uh, this pandemic situation, uh, uh, hundreds of different types of uh, masks have been used uh, in different ways. Uh, so it was, it was possible for you to collect uh, this type of uh, uh, fabrics uh, used for the uh, COVID-19. Uh, you mentioned uh, Veximco sheet uh, uh, 6.5 million. Uh, uh, dollar, US dollar, uh, uh, technical or medical textiles to different countries. From where did you collect this uh, information? Uh, uh, I got the data did from BGMA article. BGMA article? article. Yes, sir. But you did not contact with the BGMA office? No, sir. We got it from Google. We searched this in their website and got the data. So actually, Beximco Group made the shipment of 6.5 million pieces, not dollars, sir. 6.5 million pieces of medical gowns. But uh, maybe uh, you mentioned 11 uh, million US dollar export from Bangladesh. Yes, so uh, Beximco did uh, 6.5 million. Pieces. pieces of medical textiles. Okay, uh, uh, and uh, what is uh, your future uh, uh, trip? We uh, are planning uh, to, to 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 continue this research. Is there any plan? Uh, yes, sir. To continue uh, to continue this uh, research, uh, we can do the sort analysis of medical textile to set up a medtech industry in Bangladesh. Because uh, pandemic situation uh, maybe continue another few years, so we, we need to try and uh, we, we have to produce uh, different types of productive uh, medical textile. So I think there is a scope uh, for research. Uh, what has been used and uh, what we have to use in the uh, near future. So there is a wide uh, field uh, to continue research. Yes, sir. Okay. So, so you can try your best. Uh, maybe it will be very interesting for the uh, Bangladeshi people, also for the foreigners. We can, if we can develop uh, good quality medical textiles and technical textiles for the world, not only for Bangladesh. Yes, for the world. Sir, COVID-19 is not only the one pandemic, sir. We can uh, yes. be prepared for the future pan pandemics too. Uh, maybe another pandemic may come in future. <laughs> so. Yes, uh, so we have to preparation for that. So yes. Thank you. Uh, uh, is there any uh, question from the audience, Mr. Uh, coordinator, uh, Robigol Islam, who is the coordinator? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, is there any question from the audience? Yes, sir. We have two question actually, but uh, mm -hmm. they are almost the same uh, as you mm -hmm. asked previously. And they want to okay. know about the prospect of future researchers. Okay. So, for what are the prospect of future researchers? So the prospect, uh, to analyze the prospect of medical textile in Bangladesh, uh, I think for future researcher, they need to analyze the scope of medical textiles in Bangladesh and as well as the global market. So they can uh, analyze the medical industry in all over the world, and they can do the sort analysis to explore the medical market in our country. OK. Now I would like to request our session chair, Professor Dr. Engineer Mohammad Julhashuddin, sir, to hand over the virtual certificate to our author. Paper ID is 87. Okay, okay, I am glad to hand over the uh, 
certificates, uh, International Conference on Sustainable Development in Technology for Fourth International uh, Industrial Revolution 2021. Uh, to the authors, Wasif uh, Wakar, Mohammad Hafiz Hassan Soudri, and uh, uh, Abdul Salam, and uh, Safwana Hussain. Thank you, very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, uh, we are uh, uh, the last stage of the technical uh, session. Uh, now I would like to uh, invite uh, uh, presenters of uh, the paper, a hidden treasure of uh, different uh, diversified products. Diversified root products. Okay, I would like to invite uh, uh, Joy Kumar De, uh, Sunny uh, Sunny Borua, and yes, Muhammad Rehim and Rafiqul Islam. Please, you can present your paper. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Hello, uh, everybody. Sir. Before we begin, let me introduce myself. I am a Sunny Borua. I am a student of. Department of Textile Engineering at Port City International University. I would like to especially thanks to our honorable teacher, Professor Dr. Engineer Muhammad Zulhasuddin sir. And also thanks to our supervisor sir, Muhammad Razdaul Karim and Rafiul Islam sir. I would like to talk to you about Zuti's hidden treasure of different diversified product. First of all, I will briefly discuss all kinds of Jute diversified product in front of you. I will continuously by giving example of this product. I I gonna sh talking about uh, those segments and uh, in front of you. Uh, excuse me. Introduce yourself. Uh, what is your name and? Uh... Because uh, there are few authors. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, who, is, sir. who is presenting this paper? Sir, um, sir, my name is Sunny Borwa, and uh, I am a student of Department of Textile Engineering and Port, at Port City International University. And my uh, other author's name is Johnny Kumar Roy, and uh, MD Razul Korim, sir, and uh, MD Rafiul Islam, sir. Okay, you are Sunny Baroi. Sunny Borwa, sir. Sunny Borwa. Yes, sir. Okay, Sunny Borwa, you can continue. Thank you, sir. Nat Natural fibers are biodegradable, non toxic energy efficiency, and eco friendly, which reduce the issues of waste disposal as seen in case of synthetic fiber. Corcoas capsularis is the scientific name of jute, one of the scientific fi best fiber come from the Telus family. This investigation will show some example of various fine products which are fabricated from biodegradable jute fiber instead of stone of plastic and other environmental friendly materials. Jute is a golden fiber and shining fiber. It is a natural fiber and 100% biodegradable. I you know that it is the second vegetable fiber in the world after cotton. Actually, this product it is not only a major textile fiber, but also one of the off-style and value-added non-textile product. It is the most widely used in different purpose, such as fabric making, mats, bag, rope, and ear making. We have already shared some name of products. And we have produced many types of products from jute, but most Important thing is those products are recyclable and doesn't harmful for environment. It has high strength, lighter, smoothness, etc. I would like to inform with pleasure some jute diversified industry show that diversified finished jute product exporting can revive the weekend jute sector and livelihood of the jute farmers. World production of jute. India is the largest producer of raw jute and jute good and uh, the second largest exporter after Bangladesh. But Bangladesh was formerly the world's top jute producer, but a lack of 
technology advancement in Bangladesh. Jute cultivation means that producing was strained was a leisure surpassed by India as the global leader is jute production. Nonetheless, Bangladesh of the jute fiber accounting for mass 70% of the global jute exporting. The jute fiber producing in Bangladesh often considered the best quality in the world. And among the nature, renewable substance of became important for its chemical, mechanical, and environmental properties. I'm gonna talking about some applications area of jute diversified production. Agrotech. What is uh, what is uh, are you know that what is agrotech? Agrotech may be defined as the uses of oven, non-oven, and knitted fabric in agricultural and horticulture sector by covering protection, shading, structural dimension, insect protection, such as net, sheet, etc. Biltech. It is the used construction for concrete reinforcement, constructions, proofing materials, and air condition, noise prevention, protection against the sunlight building safety. Cloth tech. Functional component of shoes and uh, clothing. Geotech. Geotech are used in foundation soil, rock, earth, any other geotechnical engineering related materials. It can be caused by road, airfields, railways, river erosions problem, etc. Medical check. Surgical clothing, gowns, caps, masks, and bedding, blankets, pillows, covers. And uh, pack tech, packaging and storage. Pro tech, uh, personal and property protection. Sports, sports tech, sports and laser technical components. Some derivatives, jute products. First of all, I want to share a more valuable product, jute fancy bag. It is the fashionable jute fancy bag for women and girls. It can be used for going picnic, office and colleges, etc. It may be by hand and wonderful designed handbag can draw a nature, natural picture on the outside handbag. Uh, jute handicraft. We can make many types of jute handicraft products. There are jute doll, gift item, table lamps, painting on the wall and pe pencil box, etc. Floor mat. It is the mainly used in front of door of homes and, and office, etc. By the floor mat, we can be clean the room and it is remove the dirt particle from the foot. Showpiece and decorative articles. It is increasing the beauty in the home and office, etc. We can make many 3D shapes, toys, showpiece, gift hamper, etc. And we keep these accessories in house, office, and showcase, and with the rope hanging from the ceiling. Barlev and hasting bag. Commonly used in agro waste industry for packing sugar, flour, potatoes, onions, wools, wheat, rice, pulses, etc. And at present, the demand for this product very high. Sweater. It is, it is the more co comfortable than any other sweater. It is made of blended jute fabric. Tarpaulin cloth. It is a strong, flexible, and water-resistant large sheet. It is also used uh, construction site for shelter such as tent, etc. Jute jacket. It is more fashionable and attractive. The cool air in this production can't easily flow from the out, outer surface to the inner surface. It is made of blended jute fabric, jute cotton fabric, jute cotton fiber. And, and the travel bag. Travel bag, it is more attractive than uh, you can easily carry all the kinds of product one place to another place. And I uh, wanna show you a price list of some jute diversified product in Bangladesh. And uh, uh, bag, uh, purpose uh, bag uh, 84 taka and uh, diaper bags purpose 400 
18 taka table mats uh, per five pieces 2500 taka and corporate bags per pieces 100 130 taka do diversified food it can be improved modified and bleached shape mixed and coated polished and free detergent are applied in different product of the text according to the customer demand they are basically we have to uh, three divided product fiber based product jute composite paper magic air textile and yarn based product ble bleached yarn dyed yarn poly polished yarn coated yarn and fabric based product designed fabric stripe fabric check fabric conclusion this is a long soft and shine bezable fiber jute is the cheapest and the most widely used fiber in the world and all the jute diversified product are biodegradable acg eco friendly and it, and we are the second large and uh, bangladesh is the second largest jute producing country but it can't earn money due to lack of technical development we have the we have the jute fiber which is rich but we can't utilize the fiber due to lack of knowledge and irresponsibility some days ago a doctor engineer mubarak ahmed sir made jute bag alternative of plastic bag from jute fiber this is the most important thing for us thank you so much sir and uh, again i would like to thanks uh, especially thanks uh, our honorable teacher professor dr engineer mohammad julhasuddin sir and uh, also thanks to our supervisor uh, mg rezaul korim and rafiul islam sir that's all okay thank you uh, sunny for your uh, nice presentation uh, yes, sir. invite uh, uh, audience uh, for uh, questions. Okay, dear author, very first question for you. Which types of jute product are used in medtech? Dear author, sir, which types of jute product are used in medtech? Sir, which types of? jute Sorry, product please. which types of jute product are used yes. in med tech sir please uh, um, i don't okay which types of jute product are used in medical textile yes sir sir uh, sir uh, it is can it, it can be used uh, our different types of clinic yeah, uh, basically op uh, operation sectors and uh, etc. Sir. Okay, a very good question comes from Najif Hasan Choudhury, and that is recently the jute industries are being shut down. Which measures the gov government should take to cope up with this crisis? Uh, recently, the chapters are being shut down. Which measures the government take to cope? Yes. Sir, basically, uh, we are we are had some problem uh, because of uh, uh, we have no uh, we can't earn money due to lack of technical development, and uh, it is the most important uh, uh, things for us because of uh, when uh, when we are. And remove our technical technical problem of this sector uh, we cannot survive and uh, okay okay the very last question for you from uh, saifuddin jabe what is the market value of the jute diversified products is there any possibility to make t-shirt of these products obviously sir uh, but uh, it is uh, costly because of uh, um, jute, uh, jute, uh, jute is jute is a sustainable product from others uh, others product but uh, it is uh, costly from the others product 
and uh, uh, we can we can easily uh, we, are, uh, we can easily produce all the uh, all types of product from jute sir i have many tra travel of internet sir okay Please, i can properly sir, talk. professor doctor engineer uh, mohammad julfashuddin sir okay thank you mr sunny for your uh, answers i have a uh, few questions on uh, zoot uh, the in bangladesh we have uh, zoot research institute okay uh, did you uh, contact with uh, with them uh, for your research yes sir you know there is a zoot research uh, institute in sher uh, bangla nagar dhaka uh, did research did you uh, contact with them uh, for your uh, support Or what was the uh, methodology of your research, sir? Sir, basically. Uh, Did you understand my question? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. Sir, basically, uh, all the. Because uh, in in the Jute Research Institutes there are many textile engineers. Uh, senior, junior, and um, uh, so many experienced uh, researchers are there. They have been uh, working year after year, and they have been uh, developed many uh, zoot products. So my question is: Did you contact with the zoot research institute uh, for sir, your uh, development? Uh, sir, basically, uh, in this time due to COVID, we can't go there. Uh, Man, did you take any information from uh, Vijayarai? Uh, no, sir. You, you are presenting uh, to the international conference. Uh, it, uh, did you take any data from uh, Vijayarai? From where did you collect uh, yes, your uh, your products? From where did you collect uh, this thing? You presented some items. Basically. Basically, yes, sir. Uh, sir, basically, uh, I can, I, I, I have collected uh, those product, those product, and uh, those, uh, those, uh, those items. Uh, uh -huh. I, uh, I have contacted uh, with uh, some, sa some others. Some other factory, sir. Yes, because uh, we have uh, about three uh, hundred uh, manufacturers, good manufacturers. In Bangladesh, uh, yes, do, did you contact with them? Uh, uh, how did they have been doing on on zoot goods, Mr. Sunny? Did you uh, contact with them, uh, sir? Sir, two. Uh, yes, sir. Sir, sir. More than two and three companies. I will. I have contacted there. And uh, did they supply you the latest? Uh, Uh, products or uh, latest information regarding uh, zoot products yes sir uh, sir uh, he they are confirmed them, uh, confirm them uh, zoot handicap and uh, zoot fancy bag and uh, diaper some of the products uh, they told that okay okay and uh, what about uh, you mentioned some prizes the uh, in your literature uh, did you get uh, this uh, prize from uh, from the manufacturers or uh, exporters from where did you uh, collect this type uh, of basically price? basically i have collected uh, from from those product price uh, so basically i have collected from those product uh, price uh, our online shop such as daras that is uh, uh, retailers uh, you have yes, Uh, information from retailers. Yes, sir. Retailers in the market. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Thank you, Mr. Sunny, for your uh, answers. Uh, so, is there any question from the audience? Because uh, zoot is a very important national fiber in Bangladesh. Okay, one more question for Sunny Borea okay. from okay. Obishek Das. 
Sunali bag is also an important diversified product, which is also a good invention of our country to represent our job. Uh, say something about it. Uh, sir, basically, uh, jute is a long and soft shining vegetables fiber, and uh, jute is the cheapest and the most widely used fiber in the world. And uh, we can, uh, we, we have, uh, sir, uh, basically, sir, uh, it is uh, golden and shining fiber and natural fiber and 100% biodegradable. So uh, we will use this product and we will be preparing this. Okay, now I would like to request our session chair, Professor Dr. Engineer Mohamed Julhashuddin sir, to hand over the virtual certificate to our author. Paper ID is 92. Okay, I am very glad to hand over the certificate of uh, International Conference on Sustainable Development in Technology for Fourth Industrial Revolution to the authors, uh, uh, Johnny Kumar De, uh, Sunny Burwa, Mohammad Rezol Kurim, and uh, Rubik Islam. Congratulations. Okay. Thank you very much, you, sir, Professor Dr. Doctor, Engineer Mohammad Julha Shuddin, sir, for conducting this technical session. I also congratulate all the presenters for sharing some wonderful ideas. Now, I would like to request our acting chairman, uh, Mr. Jubair bin Said Oli, to hand over the virtual certificate to our session chair, Professor Dr. Engineer Mohammad Julha Shuddin. Sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, uh, we are very much fortunate uh, to uh, get you as our session chair and uh, a, a great accommodation, accommodation and uh, a great textile engineer like you. We are very much uh, proud of you. Thank you very much, sir, for giving us this valuable time. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, but uh, there is a very uh, small question, my name, Arki. Uh, you wrote uh, the name, uh, my name should be, uh, there is a A's at the end of my name. Zulhar, Z-U-L-A-C-S-A-S. There is a spelling mistake. Sorry, 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 sir. The problem. <laughs> sorry, yeah, okay, sir. Sorry, sorry for the wrong translation. I'm very much. So maybe you can correct it uh, sorry, sir. because uh, uh, just you need to add one ace at the end of my name. Zulhas, Z U L A S S A S. So there is a mistake in the uh, name. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, sir. We we will rectify this. Rectify this. Rectify this. J S H. Now, well. okay, Mr. Rukulistam, uh, uh, maybe we are at the end of the technical session. Uh, is it uh, possible for me to tell something about the authors? Yes, sir. Before, uh, before concluding, uh, you can tell something, maybe, because as a moderator, uh, you can say something uh, to the audience. Okay. okay. Uh, before closing uh, this session, uh, now I would like to request all of you to open your camera if you are comfortable enough so that we can capture this moment. Please, all author. Thank you all. Now we have reached to the end of this session. I cordially thank all of you to join this at technical session. I hope it will be highly beneficial for all of us. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you, sir. Okay, then uh, can I tell something uh, at the end of this session? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, please. Okay, okay, thank you, Mr. Moderator, Mr. Rubikul Islam, for conducting this session very nicely. Uh, again, I uh, congratulate uh, uh, Port City International University uh, for conducting uh, such an uh, important uh, technical session uh, in uh, International Conference of Sustainable Development Technology 
for fourth industrial revolution. I congratulate uh, all the authors, presented a uh, few papers here. Uh, I would like to say something about the papers. There are two papers on natural dyes. Uh, I would like to mention uh, these papers are very interesting, but uh, the authors need to carry out some uh, further uh, research on this paper. Uh, for example, they can uh, uh, study the type of uh, chemical structures uh, from watermelon, uh, from uh, dragon fruits. Uh, also, they can uh, uh, study the feasibility of dyeing. Uh, is it feasible for the uh, dye industries or textile industries? Because dragon fruits is very expensive. Uh, also, melon, watermelon is also expensive. If you want to buy uh, uh, five kilo uh, uh, watermelon, uh, uh, we have to spend uh, 500 taka, maybe I think. So uh, there is a uh, scope of uh, feasibility studies. There is the costing. Uh, is it feasible uh, for uh, application in textile materials. So you can do it. Also, uh, there is a opportunities to study uh, the build up, uh, uh, build up uh, properties of the uh, dye stuffs. That is, uh, build up is the uh, uh, strength of dyes uh, versus concentration. Uh, for example, you can use 1%, 2%, 3%, 4%, 5% uh, uh, dye concentration, and you can measure the, uh, the uh, KS value. That is the color strength of the uh, materials. That will be very uh, interesting. Also, you can uh, uh, study different types of uh, uh, watermelon or different types of dragon fruits. Uh, that will be very interesting for future research. And uh, there is a scope for uh, characterization. Uh, for example, uh, watermelon, dice of watermelon, how it is uh, attaching with the fiber. Uh, you can go for characterization. Uh, you can use uh, several instruments uh, for the characterization. So there is a chance uh, you can uh, uh, go for further research. Uh, that will be very interesting uh, for the Port City International University and uh, for, for the authors. And most of the authors are very young. Uh, I am happy to see all of you. Uh, I think uh, uh, you can continue your research uh, so that uh, uh, your uh, publications uh, will be published in the international journals. So if you uh, follow my uh, instructions, uh, it will be very interesting for you and uh, for the Port City International University and for the whole textile sector. Uh, because uh, in, uh, at this moment, uh, fundamental research is very rare in uh, textile education. So I am very, very happy to see that Port City International is doing very good quality research. And uh, I hope to visit uh, Port City International in future. And uh, another two papers, uh, uh, for example, uh, this, the, the, that we are uh, survey type, uh, for example, uh, medical textiles. Obviously, medical textile, uh, textiles are very important uh, uh, for the world, not only for Bangladesh. Uh, we have enough scope uh, uh, on the research. But uh, this, uh, this paper is uh, survey type. I think you can go for uh, basic research or fundamental research on uh, medical textiles. For example, if we can make a, a good quality uh, mask or a good quality uh, uh, parts of the human body, uh, then it will be very interesting for the Bangladesh as well as uh, for the world. Uh, so far, uh, last paper, uh, it, it is a very interesting because it is a golden fiber of Bangladesh, Jude. And so far, as I know, uh, more than uh, 50 items uh, have been uh, exporting uh, from uh, Bangladesh to, uh, uh, to the walls. Uh, we have been getting uh, uh, some uh, revenue uh, from, the, from the Jute fibers. So I think it will be more and more interesting. Uh, there is a department of uh, Jute and Allied Fibers in the uh, University of Port, Port City International University, uh, then it will be very helpful for uh, fiber research, for uh, research on uh, wool fiber, on research on bast fibers, research on silk fiber. There is a, a, a lot of uh, opportunities uh, for research on fiber science. So with this uh, uh, few words, uh, I would like to conclude my speech. Again, I would like to uh, 
yeah, thank and uh, I would like to congratulate all the authors uh, for uh, for their research and for their presentation. And uh, uh, so with these few words, uh, I would conclude my speech here. So thank you very much uh, for uh, giving me the opportunity uh, to conduct this session. Uh, so I would uh, I am uh, uh, thankful uh, to the Four City International University, to the management of the uh, international conference. Uh, thank you all. Uh, thank you very much. I hope uh, all the best uh, to all of you, and I hope your uh, uh, good health and uh, bright future. Thank you. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much once again, sir, for your excellent words, and I hope those will be beneficial for young researchers. So, thank you one again, sir. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, audience. Now we are going to conclude our session and here it is. Thank you all authors and uh, attendees uh, who are uh, very patiently waiting for this. And once again, uh, please join after lunch uh, for the uh, keynote session. I am requesting all the attendees.